What's up, Jack? Jack? What is it? I've always been alone. Huh? I'm so lonely. Lonely? Rose, we've always... Not always. What do you mean? You've never slept beside me. What are you talking about? I... After we've been together in my room, you stay awake all night, or you head for the door. Is this really the time to bring this up? Why, Jack? Why? Listen, Rose, I'm right in the middle of a mission, and I... Why? Why can't you relax when you're with me? Look, the mission, I... Why don't you open up to me? Rose, I, I just can't. All I ever wanted was to share your dreams, to spend a meaningful evening with you. I just wanted to find you by my side when I woke up. Is that asking too much? It's the night. I'm scared of the night. It's got nothing to do with you. Scared of the night? What's that supposed to mean? I can't relax when I'm with someone. Jack, you wouldn't even let me in your room. I need privacy. I just can't be bothered. Bothered? Wrong word. What I wanted to say was that there are certain things that I have to keep to myself. Do you remember that time I forced my way into your room? We'd known each other for almost a year, and you blew up. It was the first time you ever raised your hand against me. I was so worried about you. Look, I'm sorry. It wasn't your violent nature that scared me. It was your room, your heart. Stop it. There wasn't anything in your room. Only a bed and a small desk. It looked like a prison cell. <sighs> Rose? No television set. No family pictures. Not even a poster. Rose, I only used that room for sleeping. A lifeless room. Almost like your empty heart. That's why I tried to keep you out. I thought I was beginning to understand you. Until I saw that room. Would you have been happier if I had a picture of you hanging on the wall? That's not what I was trying to say. Enough, Rose. We'll talk about this later. After the mission. Right. After the mission. I understand. I have a question for you. What is it? How do you feel about heights? I can't say I like heights. The water's higher on my phobia list. Why? Well, we have to go down a ladder. How far down? Just a little bit. Why do I feel like we've had this conversation before? How little is little? Mm, about 130 feet. Hmm. Huh. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? How are your legs? Better. The numbness is gone. I can climb down on my own. Okay, follow me. Sunset. It's beautiful. If we don't hurry, it'll be the last we see.
enemy soldiers, gun ciphers. I don't think we're gonna be able to slip past all that. Looks like it can barely support one person. How much do you weigh, Emma? Are you gonna ask me how old I am next? If you go alone, I think you can make it across. This is Raiden. Do you read me? Yeah. What's up? We've made it to the lower part of Strut L. We'll have to cross the water from here. Can Emma walk? Yeah, she's okay. The pontoon bridge doesn't look too sturdy. Emma's gonna have to cross it alone. Right. The oil fence. There are ciphers and several guards. Raiden, you're carrying a PSG-1, aren't you? Yeah. It's time to play sniper. Not bad. This spot gives me a good view of the targets. You're going to have to cover Emma until she crosses to Strut E. I'll get there and provide some support of my own. Thanks. Think you can handle it? Yeah, I know the drill. I faced a similar situation in advanced mode level 4 VR training with the PSG-1. VR? Uh, guess it's better than nothing. Make sure you don't hit Emma. Right now, with Arsenal's boarding in progress, security should be at a minimum. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Given the situation, they've probably got claymores in place to make up for the security shortage. Make sure you use your thermal goggles. Right. Okay, I'm heading for Strut E. Emma, are you reading me? Loud and clear. I'm gonna clear a path for you from here. How? Sniper fire. You're kidding. Trust me. What if I fall into the sea? I, I can't swim. You were doing pretty good a few minutes ago. Okay. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? No. no. All right, get going. You'll be fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, nice and clear. I've reached my sniping position on Strut E. I'll provide support fire from here. Right. Do me a favor and take out whatever I miss. Just call me when you want me to shoot. to get this far, it must be thanks to that Ryan guy. Hmm. But he's... Well, what is the deal with him? He's got a weird name. Dress is pretty weird, too. 
And I'm not really sure about the way he holds my hand and things. It's easy on the eyes, though, so I guess I can let that slide. <laughs> but I got my own ideas about that hair. I wonder if it's... well, it must be. I could ask him later. Oh, he'd probably get ticked off. I'll leave him alone. Emma, about what you said behind that column there. Huh? What are you talking about? Can I just say something? Um, sure. This is my real hair, okay? <laughs> of course. As if I said anything about that. doing here it's not my choice thank you very much oh you're not gonna shoot me no why not stay away from good-looking women when you're fighting otherwise you'll get hit with diarrhea huh one of the few things I learned from Shadow Moses what are you talking about ancient history don't worry about it uh, I have no idea what you're talking about but does this mean you're letting me go well you could have found a nicer way to say that but sure better hurry Thanks. Don't mention it. Just run like hell. Oh no, my stomach. Not again. This place is about to sink. Just get out fast, okay? Wait. What? What's your name? Don't have one. Huh? Okay, fine. It's Johnny. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Hey, if we run into each other again. Oh. Huh. What a weird guy. before I ask her out. I can't do this. I'm scared. I'm so tired.
Dryden. Emma's been stabbed. That bastard! How bad is it? She's conscious, but the bleeding's bad. I'm bringing her over there right now. <laughs> Ryden, get that disc over here as soon as possible. I'm afraid her time's running out. I'll be there! What's your situation over there? Emma seems to be, uh, doing something to GW's defensive capabilities. All we need now is your disc. You'd better hurry. I don't think she's gonna make it. How's the bleeding? She's... Just get over here. You'll find the coast is clear with everybody aboard Arsenal right now. Understood. Are you going to shoot me? How's Emma? I think he got some internal organs. We can't stop the bleeding. Help. I'm here. Got the disc. Emma set everything up. Uh, apparently all you have to do is pop in the disc. Should insert the virus into the AI. Is it working? 
Just leave it to Emma. What the? An antibody agent? Damn! The connection's been cut. Is the virus upload complete? I don't think so. The count stopped at 90%. Otacon. I don't think Emma's made any mistakes. But a portion of the worm cluster might have been altered after the disc left Emma's hands. By the Patriots? Will the virus still work? I have no idea. Hal is... Is everything all right? Uh, it's all right. Everything's all right. Good. At least I... I won't be adding another page to our family's dark history. Yeah, that's right. What if the virus doesn't work? Either destroy that thing, or take out Solidus and his men. How do we get on board? Hmm. I don't think we can. Unless somebody inside gives us a hand. Hal... I... I always... What is it? You don't hate me? Never. I never wanted to get in your way. I never wanted to hurt you. I thought that with Arsenal, if I followed in your footsteps, I could be closer. I just wanted you to look at me. Look at me as... as a woman. Hey, hey. I could never do that. Don't be so honest. It hurts. Sorry. Can I... Can I ask you one last favor? Sure. Call me... Call me... Emma. What? Please call me Emma. What's wrong with E.E.? E? Emma? 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 Answer me! I didn't... I didn't leave you. Because of the accident, I had... I had a relationship with your mother. She seduced me. And it went on. My father's death was no accident. He took his own life. It was my fault, all my fault. Forgive me, Emma.
Attention! Arsenal gear is ready for launch. Evacuate the upper levels immediately. Sounds like they're cutting this area loose. What do you mean? It means we're gonna sink. We have to get the hostages out. What about the camera repairs? Done. We won't be able to get everybody aboard. We'll just have to take as many as we can. My sister... won't be able to come with us. We will be commencing the countdown shortly. Personnel in the upper levels, head for the evacuation area immediately. I'm always the survivor. Why, Wolf? Take care of the hostages. What about you guys? We got other arrangements. Huh? There's our ride out of here. Anyway, we're gonna have to sink that thing if the virus doesn't work. I should be going with you. You've got your job, we've got ours. You mean, I'd only get in your way. Wrong. Only you can save those hostages, got it? Right. Listen, the two of you won't be able to destroy that thing. Eliminate the enemy, that's your only option. to get as many hostages out as you can. It's a short flight to the shore, so don't worry about overloading the cam off. <laughs> Leave it to me. alone. Always. We only wanted to be loved. We were always waiting. Waiting for somebody. Somebody who would love us, but we were wrong. You can't wait to be loved. You have to go out and find it. Four years ago, I realized that you can't just wish for a happy family. You have to make it happen. I only wish I knew that sooner. I learned that I could love, as you probably did, Emma. You think he's gonna be okay? He's tougher than he looks. 
Consider it done. Now, how do we open this thing? You can come out now. A ninja? What the? Arsenal's going to take off. We still need you to take care of a few things. This time, do not fail us. Snake, what's this all about? Bedtime, Raiden. I wouldn't do that. You're changing sides now? Change sides? I don't recall saying I was on yours. Damn it. You! Ready for some shut eye. Jack, are you reading me? Do you want to save your mission data up to this point? Your mission data has been saved. Is he still, is he alive? still alive? He was he when Olga brought him in. I've checked I've everything, checked including the genome, genome data, data, but there's nothing on this guy. NSA, CIA, FBI... He doesn't exist in any database. He's a non-existent operative from a non-existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up. It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. You know this fellow? You remember me, don't you? You've grown. <laughs> High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory, too? <laughs> This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You... know me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills. Everything you know, you learn from me. The 80s. A civil war. You were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. When you were barely 10 years old, you became the platoon leader of the small boy unit. At the time, your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. 
Jack. I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the relief center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you. It's an interesting coincidence. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What should we do with him? We'll use him like you suggested. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. <laughs> Happening again? Could it be that he's here too? <laughs> In another hour, we demonstrate the power of Arsenal gear. Attack with standard weapons, of course. Yes, proceed as planned. At last report, all is well with GW. Hmm. How about the troops? The men are being refitted with Arsenal gear equipment as ordered. You're the spitting image of Big Boss. <laughs> Is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. This situation, I find it very nostalgic. Where am I? Why, inside Arsenal gear, of course. Actually, we're also inside the memory of Shadow Moses. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, do you? A foul wind is blowing. We shall speak again. Don't move. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? I'm switching over to nanocommunication. Mr. X? Ninja? Correct. It's me. I thought you were the leader of the Russian troops. No. That was just a smokescreen. A smokescreen? I was sent to provide you support. Support? Who sent you? The Colonel? No. The Patriots. What? I... I deceived my troops. Betrayed them. But why? My child is being held hostage by the Patriots. It all started two years ago when I lost my father during the tanker incident. My men and I had nowhere to go. So we joined forces with an illegal Russian organization. The Russian Mafia? Something like that, actually. I learned much later that it was a subordinate organization of the Patriots. I was expecting at the time. When I gave birth to my child, it turned out I was in a hospital run by the Patriots. In the morning, my child was gone. My baby is being kept somewhere in this country. Have you ever met your child? No. Once a month they send me a photo of my child via network. I've never even held the child in my own arms. I see. Given your situation, nobody can blame you for what you did. That's your opinion. What about Snake? I thought you were enemies. He wasn't responsible for my father's death. Actually, we owe him our lives. Two years ago, they were responsible for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. So you were partners since the incident? No, I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake? When? Well, it was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Snake. So you joined hands with him to pay back a debt? No, mutual gain. Mutual gain? My job was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. The Patriots would judge that as failure on my part and terminate my child. Putting it simply, my child's life depends on your success. So you did it all for your child. But why would the Patriots want to help me? 
Are they hoping I'll take Solidus out? No, you're just like me. We're just pawns. Pawns for what purpose? The S3 plan. Huh? You'll figure it out sooner or later, but I wonder if you'll handle the truth. What do you mean? Listen, we haven't got time for this. Solidus will commence his attack any minute. He's got to be stopped. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Will it work? I don't know. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? Snake's got everything. I couldn't bring it here. And where do I find Snake? The passageway ahead leads to a hangar. He'll be waiting there. I gave him a card key for the hangar. Does Snake plan to destroy Arsenal gear? No. Even for Snake, it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. The only option is to stop Solidus and his men. What are you going to do? Stay concealed. That's my role. I still can't afford to be discovered. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. <clears throat> Jack, are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Jack, is it true? What Solidus said? Yes. It's unbelievable. Drafting small children, sending them to war? It's not allowed under international conventions. ICC rules don't mean a lot in war. Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was just one of them. So you remember. I thought your memory had been manipulated by them. It was, but I have nightmares every day. Pieces of the past I can't put together. Why didn't you tell me? You couldn't begin to understand. You wouldn't know that until you try me. I didn't want you to get hurt. <sighs> there was never a real reason for me to fight, except that someone put a gun in my hand. And that someone was him. It wasn't your fault. If I survived the day's fight, I was praised, fed, and had a bed to sleep in. I think I was only six when I held my first AK. But I'm not even sure of that. Jack. I'm not like Snake. I never questioned why we fought. There was no purpose, no way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. If you didn't, you were the one they shot instead. It's okay. No one is blaming you. We were shown Hollywood action films every day. The kind with macho guys and big guns. They call it image training. Ugh. They... they built us from the ground up into killing machines. We were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. Gunpowder? In the food? The gunpowder had toluene in it, giving it hallucinogenic properties. It kept us drugged, controllable. Oh my god! <laughs> when the Civil War ended, those of us who survived were taken in by NGOs. They gave me a new life in the States. I can't complain. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with my past have secrets and agendas of their own. Terrible nightmares. Every night. I can never forget. <laughs> Jack... <laughs> I'm afraid of the night. That's why I don't sleep next to you. You should have told me. <laughs> told you what? That I'm a killer? And always have been? No. No. What I hate more than anything else in the world is my own past. I didn't want you or anyone to know about it. <laughs> now I know why I was chosen for this mission. No one can take him on, take him down, except me. I've been kept alive this long for this. I knew 
as soon as I saw Solidus. Jack, I love you the way you are now. You have to believe me. <sighs> I didn't know anything about you, I admit that. Where you were born, how you grew up. But I know that now. And I know that what I feel for you can only get better. And I'll share in your past if that's the price. It doesn't work that way. No one can share the burden of what I've done. It's not one of those warm and fuzzy things couples share. I accept the good and the bad, Jack. That's what you do for someone you love. I don't want to share my past with anyone. I just want to forget about it. Jack, I haven't told you, you know, about what I've done. <sighs> the last two years with you, it's been more than I've ever hoped for. Jack. But I can't go any farther. I know you want to get married. I... But I can't. I can't risk starting a family. There's no way to erase my childhood. <laughs> it's all right, Jack. Please, don't say any more. Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your m mission I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? That I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Complete your mission, according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. With you. Don't worry. It's a game. It's a game just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. What are you talking about? Raiden, something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I was home. What do you think happened to me? Forget it.
Honestly, though, you have played the game for a long time. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? <laughs>